and this is the website evidence section for the IT2 for your A-level. The first thing I would recommend doing is you have to complete your website evidence and there are a list of marks. So what you need to do is have a look at your one page mark grid or even the application document from Noreen and you will be able to then just put subheadings what evidence you need to include. So I am going to pause the tutorial and then I will come back and we will have all the different subheadings that you will need as print screen evidence. So get a Word document, get your name, your class and your teacher in the header and the website evidence as your subheading. Here you can see the simple skills for you to complete uh, within the website. So we've got the background styles and that's actually you creating your own master slide. Now you cannot use a template, you have to design the background yourself. Next you've got an animation effect. So the animation is when you've got an object on screen and it flies about in some different way. You've got the transition effect, which is your movement from one slide to the next. Hypertext. Now, that's where you see a lot of the hyperlinks, where it's text and a hyperlink somewhere. That is actually hypertext. And hotspot, as you should know again from GCSE, that is where you've got an image that will hyperlink to another page. So a hotspot is an image, which is a hyperlink. Hypertext is text, which is a hyperlink. And You've got a simple sound. So that is, for example, when you're going from one slide to another, there may be a transition sound. So how do we create all these things? So if you go to your PowerPoint, to do your master slide, you will go, need to go to View and Slide Master. And you will need to go to the Master of Masters, which is right the way up to the top. Now I tend to just completely delete it and but you don't have to you know it's completely up to you and then you can just start designing it any way that you want so it will need a background color so we can add a background shape there and you can add some different gradients and some textures if you want to depending what you're actually doing your project on you can add a picture or you can add different fill colors right so if i do it blue and then you will need to have maybe a 3D tech header, your own logo, and some navigation buttons on here to then make your page. I will add some of these features. So to add a navigation button, you just add a shape, you add text, And when you're completely happy, you can copy and paste so that the size and shape is exactly the same. And then you can just change the text that's in the middle of them. So I'm going to go and get some of the other features. I'm going to have my logo. I'm going to get my 3D text for my header. And then I'm going to come back and show you some of the other features. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you can see here that we've now got the Master of Master slide completed. So some of the marks that we've got. This is our animation. If I play that, you can see it's got a bit of a 3D text animation. And we are going to do the hyperlinks. So to do that, you can go to right click and you will go to hyperlink or link depending we're going to place in this document and this one is going to be slide one so we've got our background style so that's just going to be our master slide so we literally take a picture of the master slide let's play this and get it so it's on our main page and that's our master slide animation effects Okay, so animation effects, you can do this on any page, but if you wanted to, you could do it on your master slide and you could have the master slide split in. That's your animation. We have transition. So transition is just at the top. So, and what I would do is apply it to all. And what you can also do at this point is to get your simple sound in. So we're doing Tesco Express, maybe a cash register would be a good um, sound. 
and you could instead of doing mouse click you can put your schedule or your timer on that is up to you so this print screen could actually realistically go in two places the transition effects one pet eight make sure your header is on the same page that's control and enter and it will do a new page for you and send it down to the new page and this is also for the simple sound so control and enter and then underneath we can put our simple sound and you can highlight it for the moderator make things as easy as possible and what you don't want is to miss anything just make sure you make it as obvious as possible so here you can see simple sound and then you can comment on it added a cash register When I want to insert a hypertext, what I normally do is insert text box. And I'm going to link mine to the COP26 details. And you just highlight and you right click and you go to link and existing file or web page so you've got that as an option and then you would just paste the address in the bottom so you can either print screen to show the hyperlink with the pop-up or if you hover over you can see there's a hyperlink and you would print screen that so either or it doesn't matter so the last we've got is a hotspot and that is where we've got an image that hyperlinks to a page so we can just put link and you can either place in this document slide one or you could hyperlink to an external web page it is up to you but you've got to it's got to be distinctly different from um, any other page that you've got so what i have done is just copied um, a search for local tesco or tesco express but it's actually tesco express obviously and now what I've done is when I hover over it, you can see that it's just going to do a search for any local Tesco Express. I can print screen that. That is my last print screen to show that I've now got a hotspot in place. All right, so you get one mark for background styles, one mark for animation effects, one mark for transition effects, one mark for hypertext one mark for hotspots. Okay, so they're the simple skills that you will have for your website. And in the next tutorial, we will do the more advanced. Good luck.